the new album's called Baby Gone Broke on Through. We've got a little bit of sort of New Orleans jazz in there, uh, some outside musical guests, some horns, hopefully, and just some different experimentation with percussion. It's been a very, um, it's been very experimental. We're even inspired by a little bit of bluegrass, even though we are not. <laughs> Most decidedly not bluegrass. We think that somebody might try to kill us if we called ourselves bluegrass. <laughs> I think it's totally true that we all come um, with different creative perspectives and different backgrounds of music and I think that that is a huge benefit to being able to create something truly unique and fun and, and all of our own and not trying to um, match our style with a particular genre or with a particular artist. Getting into badminton was just like a, a wonderful thing for me because I think they captured a lot of um, the things about music that are most important to me, because I'm from a classical background, so I'd be playing in a symphony with 80 people where my own sound and my own part wasn't really important. Our music's also been a way for us to speak out about the things that we believe and care about and I think that's something we've really been starting to do more recently in our live show is try to sh share messages that are important to us. We can actually change things if you act on what you wish and you desire and love and faith and make informed decisions and Amen. if anyone calls you a hippie with no direction, fuck them. And they're and there is very much a movement to the cause, so educate yourselves. We can't sum it all up in one phrase for you, but it's there. It's not like some ambiguous ghost floating above us. And there's a reason how old you are. Much more than a 60s cliche. This shit's now. This shit's real. It was kind of funny talking to people who had seen Badminton as an all-girl band, and they were they were like, "So what? They got they got dudes in the band now? Is that is that how it's gonna be?" And it was more or less of a joke. But some people were like, like almost upset about it, which is totally ridiculous. I think there's a lot of things that makes our music unique and different, and one of them being that we don't fit into a certain genre. The other um, that I feel really proud of is that we do have two female, really strong, really talented vocalists, and I think that it's a very, um, unfortunately, rare thing in this country, at least, and in a lot of places in the music industry in general, to have female-dominated music. And so I would like to say that we're not um, sexist, and we love having a multi-gender band. However, I do think it is one of our unique sounds. The girls dominate the band, you know, like they, they have such a strong presence and they bring so much to the table. It's, it's intimidating, you know, like it's a lot to compete with. We're not picking our, um, our members based on gender. We're picking them based on the the musical contributions that they can bring to the band and how much we love playing with each other. We play have played a couple shows at my sister's group home. My sister's disabled and um, and she lives in a home with other disabled people and so we played there a few times and they're our biggest fans. Like when we come and play at their house, they think that they're at that they're surrounded by rock stars. 
one of my most memorable moments with the band would be a few years ago at Sam Bond's Garage, where we play all the time now. Uh, but back then, we were still a pretty new band. And for the first time ever, I looked out into the audience and I saw someone singing along to the song. And I had never seen someone singing along to one of our songs. And so it was evidence that people listened to the words and knew them. And it caught me by surprise right in the middle of the song and I, I felt like I was gonna cry right there because it was such an amazing moment just to see this one girl in the middle of the audience singing along to the song. If I had much money as I could spend I never would cry with chairs to men Oh chairs to men, oh chairs to men I never would cry, oh, cheers to men. Oh, I can't stand the rain. When the rain hits my window, I'll get my... Uh. 